Hello everyone, welcome back to our Codeignator for Tutorials. In this session, we are going to discuss about Throttler class. Let us see what is this class and how to use this class. By using this class, we can limit some actions for a number of times for a given period of time. What is this exactly? If you want to limit login attempts for four times in one minute, then the best solution is Throttler class. What exactly this is? For example, you are trying to log into my application by entering wrong credentials. If you are doing continuously log into my application by entering wrong credentials, I don't want to allow you. I just want to block you after particular attempts, login attempts completed. What is a particular login attempts? After four times login attempts uh, with wrong credentials, I want to block you and I just want to display a message. Please wait. Uh, maximum number of login attempts failed. So wait for a minute to proceed. This type of message I want to display. Not only you, sometimes the hackers also may submit the data or sometimes the spam boards also may submit some data to our login forms. They are submitting data continuously. Definitely it is going to be burden on our application. I don't want to allow you number of requests. Maximum number of requests coming to our application. Definitely performance is going to be degraded. We don't want to allow them. Def definitely we have to block them. How can we block them? By using Throttler class. This Throttler class is going to be applied on ports, ports and IP addresses and routes also guys. Especially to block the malicious boards or to avoid the brute force, brute force attacks. Such a kind of attacks we can protect our application by using Throttler concept. Especially what is this IP addresses and all. For example, you are requesting some data to my application from the particular IP address continuously you are requesting no I don't want to allow you to request my application data continuously for a minute you can request 10 times only how to make this 10 times request if you are if you are trying to uh, request the data more than 10 times then I want to display a message maximum number of requests completed wait for some time to get the application data this type of messages we can display by using this Throttler class guys so to work with this Throttler class, we have to get the instance of this by using the services, right? So after that, there is a method called check method. This is the name of the bucket. Login is the name of the bucket. You can take anything. And this is four is nothing but number of attempts, nothing but four tokens, right? In a minute, you can try to log into my application only four times, not more than that. If you're four times completed within a minute or 30 seconds you completed four login attempts failed login attempts then i want to stop you i don't want to allow you after one minute completed then i will again you again i will allow you to log into our application let me show you how we can implement this practically guys right let us go to code and i already prepared a controller here yes guys this is the controller i just created sign in controller just i am loading one view my form view Nothing, we just, we didn't write anything. Just this is a preview of it. Now let us implement the same guys. For this, first of all, let me create a small login form in the view so that we will get some clarity. Okay, so let us go form open, form close. Let us create a form with basic uh, name and username, uh, password, you can take any field. Uh, I just want to continue with a form with the username and password. Definitely for this we have to load a helper, form helper. Yes, form helper is also loaded. Now the next thing. So because, so here, the form should be created guys here. Right, uh, why we loaded form helper to work with the form tag. Form helper is required, that's why we loaded now the form. So we are going to create a form with the two fields, guys. Let me create the form quickly. Yes, guys, these are the form fields I just have here. So I just created the form fields, username with U name and password. I am not communicating with any database here, just I want to show you. Already we created a login form, so once this is completed, I will implement the same there guys. So let us get some clarity first how we can implement this, so it will be very clear for you. Then we can implement in our login form, the same story, right. Done guys, now if you can check the preview of it, then login form is there, right. Yes guys, this is the login uh, sign in form we have. The user is going to enter the username and password. So let us make some static data into my controller. Go to your controller and let us do this is the form, right? If you want, you can do the validations also. If once the form is submitted, let us get the method, the request of 
request of get method get method equal to equal to post I mean if the form is submitted definitely we are going to get the data after submitting we have to collect the data and we have to verify the data is available in the DB but I'm not going to DB just I will take some static data I will show you here first of all let me get the data if you want you can define the validation rules also here okay let me take this quick rules here dollar rules equal to let us define the rules quick yes guys these are the rules I have for username and uh, password right so now once these rules are defined we have to validate them so let us define the validate method dollar this of validate so this validate method should contain rules parameter if the rules are okay then we will do something if the rules are not okay and we have to send the validation errors to the view dollar dot of validation validation equal to this is going to be this of validator object this will contain the validator validation errors anyhow we know we already implemented this now whatever the data we are having we have to collect them let me collect them guys dollar u name equal to dollar this of request of get where in this get where I just want to pass u name in the same manner pwd let me pass this pwd here and here we are going to take this as a pwd variable okay guys we are collected the data now after collecting data now we have to verify this right so let me verify the data with static manner guys i don't want to go to database here so i just want to write one condition if dollar u name equal to equal to rom and dollar pwd equal to equal to one two three just i'm taking the data like this guys if this is okay i just want to display a message okay perfect all law okay just i'm writing a message otherwise we will display a message dollar dot of error let us take a variable error wrong credential just i'm going to take something called wrong credentials this is what exactly we will do but where is throttler here right before submitting the data to database definitely here is the phase we are going to submit the data to database definitely before writing this we have to implement the throttler class definitely to work with this we have to create the instance of the throttler class guys let us create the instance of the throttler class in this throttler class there is a method called check method by using this method we can implement this always check this before submitting the data to database the throttler class should be created yes this is the throttler instance this is the name you can take any name that is the name of the bucket in this bucket there are four tokens if you completed the four tokens within a minute you have to wait for a minute guys again if you want to log in right so if this is okay i mean it is if it is within the given range if the tokens are not completed for every request one token will be completed four tokens you given right four requests four tokens will be completed if the requests are completed four tokens are completed then this allow method then this method will returns false guys if this is false you have to display a message maximum number of login attempts right i just want to write one message if if you are within the given range hello will return true so this logic will be here guys in the else block here we are going to display a message a data error let us take a error here data of error is going to be max number of login attempts guys i just want to write a message max number of max number of login items try again after a minute just i just want to display a message and my nut right this is the message we are displaying guys right now we have to display this error message in the view right so let us go to the view and let me display the validation errors as well as uh, the data error guys i am not redirecting but in the login form earlier we re we redirect to the same page right but anyhow this is simple we are working with static data right no problem right let us display the error messages here yes guys my error messages are ready this is going to be validation errors this is going to display the 
maximum number of failed attempts guys as well as wrong credentials also anyhow let us go to our application and let me check it guys i am trying to enter some data what is the wrong what is the exact credi credentials you have to enter wrong and password is going to be one two three let me submit it it is going to be okay i think you are getting the okay message perfect we entered the valid data so we don't have any problem now the time now i am going to enter some wrong credentials can you see i'm submitting this definitely you are getting wrong credentials message okay let me resend the same data i'm submitting this guys can you see now okay one request completed requests are completing we given four requests right okay now we can see one more request here oh let us see the final request maybe yeah can you see now maximum number of login attempts try again after a minute you are getting this message still if i try to log in this you cannot so can you see i think so if the minute is completed definitely so you are getting the message guys still i am submitting this but it is not allowing you so still you are getting maximum number of login attempts wrong credentials continuously something i am submitting this continuously but anyhow we are getting this message it is not allowing you to log into our application guys this is how can you see i am submitting the data still we are having the same message if that is completed within a minute then definitely it is going to display the wrong credentials like this guys now let me implement the same throttler concept into our application login guys here so when you are trying to log in with the wrong credentials we have to display a message please wait for some time maximum number of failed login items are completed this type of message we are going to display anyhow this login form is going to communicate with our database but earlier that is communicating with static data now this is going to be coming with database data and let us implement the same yes guys this Tuttler class we have to take to your login form go to your log login controller and before submitting the data to database here i am sending the data to database before submitting this just i am submitting this Tuttler class here if this is valid i just want to write one condition i mean if maximum number of failed attempts are four nothing but tokens are four within one minute then definitely i want to stop this i don't want to send you the data data to database if dollar allow this condition should be ended right this is going to be ended at the place i think so this here we have to end it here yes perfect and the else block we are writing a message that a data of error this data of error is equal to the same error message max number of login attempts max number of try again after a minute this is the message we are just going to display there guys but anyhow when we are having error we are redirecting to same page right but this is not correct in this situation let me do one thing let's take this uh, for a while let i'm keeping this into comment guys because we have to be in the same page if you are redirecting to then what is the uh, the problem is going to be when you are redirecting it is going again it is going to be a fresh request so it, it doesn't display the throttler message guys that's why i'm just going to take the error message like this take the same here also so in place of this i just want to write this error messages we can display messages like this also if you want you can redirect it otherwise you can display the error message in the same page also like this by taking a variable called error variable anyhow this data we are passing to view right so we don't have any problem yes the same i am going to take here also finally right sorry and let us take the same data variable i am going to copy here copy this error message right for a while i'm just commenting this session messages as well as redirect function i don't want this to see this throttler implementation definitely we have to do like this guys in the previous also we did the same we didn't redirect to anywhere now i just want to log into my application guys go there and i'm trying oh anyhow this error message should be displayed into the view right so go to your login view and try to display this error message also anyhow this is errors i'm just going to copy this and this should be displayed into the, your login view go to your views folder and open the login view yes open the file and just add this at the top of the page or below whatever it may be right that's it now i am going to try this uh, let me try to log in some data to our application i am going to this mail id actually does not exist i am entering some wrong password definitely you are going to get the wrong credential sorry email id does not exist okay for fact i am submitting the same data again continue form resubmission right i am submitting the same again right you are submitting the same one more time now you can submit this definitely you have to get that message guys 
Now can you see I'm getting the message maximum number of login attempts try again after a minute. Uh, for this if you want you can add the class also guys. Uh, div danger div class equal to alert alert danger class just you can add this class also div completed div perfect maybe if one minute is complete i'm submitting the same again you cannot get that message you will get the sorry email id does not exist anyhow i'm submitting the same again one more time i'm submitting wait let us submit the same the maximum number of requests now maximum number of failed login attempts try again after a minute in such a manner we are getting these messages guys anyhow let us make this as an alert but in one minute you have to complete all the things right sometimes you are doing two requests after uh, first 10 minutes or first 10 seconds after that second 10 minutes seconds you may try another request right maybe the problem right now you can check this same now i am going to enter the data here with some data i'm submitting anyhow sorry email id does not exist now submit the same again i am submitting the same data with multiple times guys multiple requests are going to send the data now can you see again we are getting maximum number of login attempts failed you have to do after completion of the time then only we can send the data to it guys still i am getting the same error message still i am submitting you are getting maybe one minute completed now you are ready to enter the data so we are continuously doing right there's a problem guys here okay so this is how we can restrict the uh, login attempts by using Threatler class. In the next session, we can discuss about API. There is a concept called rate limiting API calls by using Threatler as well as filters. Let us see how we can implement this in next session, guys.